Well, this is the team that Rafa Benitez has named tonight, a lot stronger than it was in the first leg, uh, not too surprisingly. Uh, amongst those starting tonight, the skipper Steven Gerrard is restored in midfield from the 11 that played at Luton, and Fernando Torres starts alongside Peter Crouch. As for Luton Town, well, we know plenty, of course, about Chris Coyne, gone, and uh, David Edwards, gone. Those two, of course, started in the first leg. Don Hutchison, who used to play some of his football here, is in at centre-back to replace Coyne. There are other problems. Uh, Chris Perry is missing. He picked up an injury at the weekend, so Richard Jackson comes in there, and uh, Steve Robinson, it is, uh, coming into the centre of midfield to replace Edwards. Scores along the way, highlights later from the other FA Cup ties. Our live game is Liverpool against Luton, live here on Sky Sports 2 and available in high definition on channel 409. Match commentators here, Andy Gray and Martin Tyler. Well, the weather here is much better than in other parts of the country where some of the replays have fallen victim to heavy rainfall. We're back here tonight because Peter Crouch gave uh, Liverpool a lead at Luton, but the man of the match, Drew Talbot, forced an own goal out of John Arna Risa to bring Luton the luxury in the financial sense of the second game. Whether it's a luxury in the football sense, Andy, we're about to find out. We are about to find out. I just feel a little bit for them at the beginning of this game. I worry a little. Part of the reason that you and I are sitting here is because the centre-backs that night defended magnificently well for them. Give them a platform to build up and get that draw. Neither of them available tonight for various reasons. There's one of the problems. Dean Brill can't kick the ball away. And uh, that's just one. They've got no height in the side, really. And Liverpool have got Crouch and Torres. And Babel takes the uh, low road. Now, you had Edwards as well, who I thought was a tremendous influence in that game. He's on his way to Wolves. And those are three big players that they're missing tonight. Yes, big in ability and yeah. big physically. Liverpool had their noses put out of joint down at Kenilworth Road. Talbot ran the legs off uh, the back line. And here's the chance for some red revenge, you feel. Certainly looking at the way Rafa Benitez, who hasn't got much margin. So uh, one is led to believe in terms of uh, getting the right results with the Premier League challenge evaporating. Arbeloa, Crouch. Keith Keane, uh, Mike Newell was talking about him as a possible centre-half, and he's absolutely right, but because he did so well against yeah. uh, Ryan Babble at Kenilworth Road... And didn't he just that night? And they've, they've matched up again here. But you just look, <laughs> you look at Goodall and Crouch as they wander about the pitch. Now, if I was Peter Crouch, where would I be pulling on to? From anywhere, I'd be trying to get on Goodall every time. Here's David Bell trying to link with Andrew, whipped away by Risa. Babble. Let's put it this way, I don't think this is going to finish nil-nil tonight. Here's Gerrard. How far can he go? And stopped by Don Hutchison. Well, he's uh, had a couple of outings recently in Luton's reserve team as a central defender, I understand, <laughs> but I can't recall him playing too much uh, no, against man. the big boys in this position. No, he's played up top a few times, been happy to mix it as centre-forward, Don, in midfield, obviously. But in this position, Steven Gerrard running at you in the penalty area. That's a good start. Yeah. Well, I, th I just think they're going to have to fly by the seat of their pants at times. Look, I really do think they're going to have to ride their luck, unless, and I've seen them plenty this season, be unless Liverpool are below par. This is, uh, again, the indication of the thigh strain for Brill, the goalkeeper. Birkenhead born Merseysider, Alan Goodall. Took that one. What we will do is have a go, Luton, that's for sure. And uh, they had three in the box, and they'll have more arriving now. Talbot wins a corner at the cop end. Well, I just 
so rigid and everything to do, Liverpool. Everybody back, don't leave a soul up. Well, they can't knock it in again, no height. Comes in with a second ball, so uh, I'm sure you'll see plenty of that. Luton going short at the corners, trying to move Liverpool around. That takes a bit of doing as well. I'm not so sure that's a good idea, knocking that ball back to your goalkeeper. Charles Etange continues in Liverpool's goal, incidentally, for the, uh, the Cup games. Gerrard. Well read by Patterson. One thing, uh, the legs start to go a little bit, the brain sharpens up. You know more about uh, reading the play, and it's always been uh, a footballer with uh, a lot of ability. I'll tell you what, though, I tried it. <laughs> Late in my career, I went in Notch County, I think. I saw you months, play as a centre-half. Centre half. <laughs> and it was about, you know, playing against a decent centre, playing against Steve Bull, would you believe? Mm -hmm. And he did all right. And I went back there simply because you can't run anymore. And it was only when Steve got about a run on me, ten yards inside my own half, that I suddenly thought, what am I doing here? And he just disappeared into the night. <laughs> and that's what we'd worry about Torres getting, maybe, Don Hutchinson high up the pitch in a situation like that. Peter Walton, the referee, giving Torres the free kick. The birthday boy, Pennant. And in goes Crouch, he's put it wide. Well, that is a little cameo of how difficult it's going to be for this Luton team to deal with a player of this size. Torres having a little chat, don't know whether he's saying, you might have knocked this down for me. It's a lovely little flighted ball. I think he's right to go for goal, it's just not a great header. Not under that much pressure, gets up a little early. That was one of those that he just needed to just arc over the goalkeeper into the far corner, a little bit of height on it. Matthew Spring, and Robinson, who did play a couple of Premier League games for Tottenham earlier in his career. Well, yeah, that's twice. Joe Talbot has forced Jamie Carragher into sliding tackles, giving away a corner. I, I, you know, sometimes I get confused about football. Well, I don't know why Liverpool no sticking somebody up the pitch on a, day, a night like tonight. And Thomas rather pours it away, but it uh, got enough distance. Five years old, and uh, six years with Laws in the French First Division. Here. Now Pennant. Robinson gets in the way. Once it bounces, Carrier's got a bit of a problem, and uh, Talbot again on his case. Convincing kick by standing goalkeeper. But Luton so pleased uh, for all the troubles of today and getting a team out for this game. So pleased with the news. Came through around five o'clock that a preferred bidder status has been granted to consortium. Fronted by an old colleague of ours, Nick Owen, from the television world. But I understand, Andy backed by a couple of ex-Luton players, Steve Foster, one yeah. of them, Godfrey Ingram, who went to play in America after a meteoric rise in, uh, in England. And there is some American involvement, whisper it a little bit at Anfield. <laughs> yeah. There might be some uh, stars and stripes at Kenilworth Road. But more of that, I'm sure, will come out over well, the next few hours. Be a difficult couple of hours here for the Luton players, though. And look at Babel's room. He goes to curl it, hits the post. Well, I said they might have to ride their luck. There's a first slice of it. Beautiful execution from Ryan Babel. I'm just about to say to you, you know, if Luton get up the pitch high, that just might be when Liverpool are the most dangerous. They had possession of the ball on the halfway line. They lost it with a bad pass, and suddenly Liverpool had space to get at them.
Gerard. Pennant. This is Arbeloa. Torres and Gerard trying to burst through. Good Great stop by uh, Goodall. Well, it came very close in the opening minute at Kenilworth Road to scoring. And Dean Brill got a hand to that, but he was nowhere near this effort. Very deliberate, picks his spot beautifully, uses the player to just turn it round him into that far corner. Super effort. Xavi Alonso, Gerard. And early from Pennant, Crouch. Brill is playing his 50th game for Luton, incidentally. Could possibly be his last. There's a talk of a move to Sheffield United, which might involve a loan back to Luton for the rest of the season. Difficult chances for Crouch. 18 yards out, haven't they turned it back towards goal on the volley? He's certainly done it before. Pennant. Against uh, Richard Jackson, who didn't play in the, uh, the first game. Another has had a little bit of uh, Premier League experience. His was with Derby County. Now this Actually might be played a test. at Anfield. This might be the first test for Luton. We'll just hang it up, really. That's the. Uh... They've got plenty of going attack this Liverpool. It's too much in the distance. Too much. Too deep that. Never really gave anyone a chance. They pretty much ganged up on Peter Crouch. Took a knock. Alonso. Gerard looked for Crouch again. Yeah, it was uh, excellent control and uh, looped away, seemingly for a corner, but referee Walton hasn't called it that way. Nor is the assistant going to help out. He always seems more comfortable, almost seems more comfortable taking the ball in his chest and using his ability to volley. That's definitely a corner. Peter Walton just doesn't see it. But he's much happier doing this almost at times than heading the ball to a crouch. It's a massive deflection. It's just uncanny how the referee can't see that. And some of that rain from other parts of the country is arriving on Merseyside. So that gets underway. Good all. giving chase, I think he was probably offside as well, but the flag hasn't uh, gone up and the Tarj again, shall we say, doesn't really clear his lines properly. <laughs> Luton's throw. I, mean, I think it's acceptable that Kevin Blackwell made a couple of changes, certainly with his system. And if you lose the heart of your defence, that's a big problem. You don't have natural centre-backs to put in there, that's a big problem. So, I think going three narrow in midfield to give a little bit of added protection was probably the right thing to do, certainly early on in the game. Because this team does have the ability with the players that are playing to just slide into a 4-4-2 any time they want. Gerard, Babel, already hit the post. Pennant. Torres turned into trouble. And Perry is more suited to playing wide, really. And uh, part of a, a more central triangle. Uh, we'll try and help Luton dig in here for as long as they can. But here's Torres, pass good all. All well, dropping amongst the Luton fans. They're all taking the chances on, aren't they, the Liverpool players? They're all trying to score. Whether that's the best option for Torres, I don't know. There's the angle a little tight here. Probably thinks he can score, but Crouch coming in along the six-yard box might just have been a better ball. Just slide it there. Even if Luton had been able to keep together the 11 that played so well against Liverpool at Kenilworth Road, they're away credentials are rather suspect just one win on their travels in league one one in the carling cup and one in the fa cup remember they've been at it since round one robinson northern ireland international not 
forward by Jackson. Gerard. Maybe Alonso picking out Babel expertly. Torres unable to keep it. Oh, Richard Bast. Make you a question before the game, what would be a good result? <laughs> I think wasn't quite sure. I'll tell you, a good result would be, I think, not getting hammered. A great result would be running Liverpool cross, and an unbelievable result would be actually winning this tie. I think, I think the uh, word miracle would be uh, brought into play a few times. But here's the Abela. Just remind you, a team from the same league was Oldham. Went not too far away from here. And it was a team, as uh, we pointed out a couple of times already this evening, from the same uh, third tier of English football, Bolton Wanderers. But, uh, embarrassed Liverpool here 15 years ago. Gerard. Torres. He's saying to the referee that he was just blocked off there as he went for a little one-two with Fernando Torres. But this is pretty much as we thought, it's one-way traffic. Risa. Jackson wanting the goalkeeper to come, but he is uh, stricken. Right. Not his mouth, though, is it? No, but his mobility, <laughs> and he obviously doesn't trust that. Well, they could have just let that go. And how often do we see goals conceded from situations like that? Good header away by Andrew. And it's going to put it back into uh, the Luton penalty area. Babel! Corner again, stating a deflection. Now, whether that was enough to stop it flying into the net, or it was going wide anyway, we're not sure. Got a better look at it from this angle. Drops it, Babel. Yeah, it's gone on target, all right. Torres. Away by Hutchison with a bit of thought. And uh, Talbot. We have a message for 13 year old run. showered with uh, compliments after the first game and the uh, mm. from all around the world where the television pictures of course were beamed <laughs> great uh, impression that they created that the team from the third tier of English football could play so well against uh, the most successful club in the English game of all time yeah, I thought they did exceptionally well here's Gerard. And Crouch, but uh, sometimes the touch is impeccable, other times the legs look a bit gangly, and that was the latter. Well, I know you just, it's another chance, and you just get the feeling that uh, if they keep creating them at this rate, six or seven now in the opening 18 minutes, with all that pressure, and having to cope with looking at, eventually they will crack, but the thing you work on is the fans. Getting a bit annoyed if it doesn't go right for them. Getting out to the players. Andrew. And this is Curry. Luke would have thought they got the right man into the right sort of area there. Very good striker of a football. Yeah, he could have kept it going right to, to Bell. The shot is there to be taken on. And no one was putting them under any pressure. And Torres gives it away. Curry does make sure that they keep it this time. Spring. And Keane. And Hutchison got the ball. Good all. Can we uh, having to withstand a bit of a buffeting, but he's done that. Well, 
wait on the free kick, kept looking at the referee. He's not interested. Spring. Made by Alonso. Every passing minute really is a triumph for this Luton team. Yeah, absolutely. Keane. 500 man, Jamie Carragher. He's got a bit to do to uh, catch the man who presented him with that trophy before the yeah. kickoff. <laughs> Just a bit. Ian Callaghan. 856. <laughs> a pass. It's another career, isn't it? <laughs> or two. <laughs> <laughs> He's the 12th to 500, and uh, I think uh, those above him, eight have had 600 or more. Yeah, no. Days before rotation, by any chance? Yeah, possibly. <laughs> days, of course, when the league program had 42 games in it helped. Good all. It's a weak aside. Gerard. Pennant. Fired across by Gerard. Crouch goes down to Torres. Again, he might have gone for goal. But all gets a foot to it. Seized on by Arbeloa. Javi Alonso. Away from Spring. And just a touch off Hutchison's head for a corner. Yeah, I'm not so sure Crouch would have gotten to that one, but he didn't know that. He had to deal with it. He was in that kind of area. He wasn't quite sure where Crouch's position had taken him. Crouch just tucks in behind him here. He might not have gotten that, but... Hutchison had to make sure. And it's Luton heads that get to Andrew and Hutchison. Carragher with a worthy turn and a cross. And Don Hutchison, who uh, for three and a half years was trying to score for Liverpool and earlier in his career, almost scored for them here. Well, I thought for a minute that was another 23 plays on that right-hand side. <laughs> <laughs> the way he done with that and swung the ball in, lovely cross in as well. Beckham-esque. Yeah. Xavi Alonso! And then the Barbell uh, trying to divert it past Brill. Kevin Blackwell have looked at this game before it started and you look at stages and you look at passes, periods of play, 20 minutes would have been the first one he would look at and say, well, if we get through the first 20 without too much damage, and there's been none as yet, then that would give him more confidence, give his team confidence. Now, second passage of play, obviously, is that 25 minutes to half-time. Pennant. Uh, Peter Crouch had a look at it and uh, realised he couldn't quite get that. Well, on Saturday, the Steel City derby, Sheffield Wednesday against Sheffield United, that's one not to miss. 12.30, Sky Sports 1, Sky Sports HD 1, and later in the same day, Watford play Charlton. 15 championship double bill for you now below good challenge by uh, Jackson spring inviting Bell to try and get behind Risa extra surge this is where they have to be careful I feel is when they get the odd attack like that and get stretched Torres <laughs> Hutchison anywhere will do a late 
member of the Defenders' Union, <laughs> but, uh, obeying some uh, basic principles. Chest as the players made great strides this season. Calvin Andrew, he's another one. And again, uh, the administrator knows there have been bids for. Well, all I can say is I'm not surprised, Martin. The level of performance that I've seen just in the two, well, the game in the quarter against Liverpool. There's one or two there might just have a chance. Yeah, one one after 90 minutes and nil nil coming up to 25 here. A towering header by Herpia. Andrew has just stayed down. You know, it was one of those challenges that I think perfectly legal. You often get three kicks given against you, Hooper will know that, because he comes from a way off and he times the jump beautifully. And it's when you're jumping up and your knee comes into the back, often referees then will judge that as a foul. They shouldn't. It's just a towering header from Hooper. Gerard put it back from Torres, but couldn't quite get the third man in the move involved, Crouch. Here's Talbot, full of energy, and uh, Liverpool aware of that. And he's hurt. Oh, I, I bet they're happy that the referee is blown up. Kevin Blackwell's furious at his team trying to take a quick free kick, and the centre forward was lying in a crumpled heap here. Even if he wasn't, why take a quick free kick, really? No need. Just get caught in the back of the ankle, just near Achilles. I think, yeah, with Babel. His team have been under pressure, they've not been. I have to say, they've not been hanging on in there. Yeah. They've not been getting battered by Liverpool in a way that many thought they might. Robinson getting the manager's instructions. Remember, Kevin Blackwell and his staff have handed in their notice. They'll leave the club on February the 9th, or maybe even earlier. The Luton fans are there for a lifetime. I just wonder whether this consortium can get the ground sorted out, because that holds the key. Luton, yes, of course Luton as a town has changed so much over there the time Kenilworth Road's been in existence and uh, there are sites available towards the outskirts of the area maybe which doesn't always please the uh, supporters and they've got competition in their area now because MK Dons what 12-15 miles away are beginning to make an impact in that uh, part of the the South Midlands I guess we call it not so much, it's not so much the fans, well, you know more about the Midlands than I do. It's the South Midlands to me, living in the South East. But um, uh, it's not so much the supporters aren't going to change, of course not, but it's the commercial opportunities in the area that can attract um, maybe uh, interest that will go to a club that's got the best image. Anyway, Luton are enhancing their image on the field with uh, some heroic efforts here. Bell. Pennant. Mm. Joe Talbot's struggling a bit. He's come limping back on. It'll be interesting to see if he can run that one off. I well, feel if anyone can, he can. Yeah, well, he can run. Age is out as well. Yeah. 21. We won't be going anywhere but staying on that pitch. Jackson could have let that run, but yeah, he it needed to be told. Talbot just still flexing and uh, stretching. The <laughs> Luton fans asking the Liverpool fans if they can sing a song for them. It might be a little premature to be doing things like that. Referee didn't help uh, Luton defend here, but uh, Keane did. Springs across. Peter Walt, mindful of his uh, slight interference in the play. Well, it might have something to do with his decision. Yeah. Not anything but a Luton throw. Mm. 
swept forward by Hutchison, met by Herpia. Bell, Robinson, and put it behind Risa unsuccessfully. Robinson goes in again. Talbot's on the move again. That's good news for Luton Town. Curry slightly through our below. Yeah, it seems to me that they're more in the 4 4 2 system now with Bell and Curry in the wide positions. Calvin Andrew, who we thought he did start initially on the left hand side. But, uh, you can see him there right up top alongside Talbot. So they might be taking a little chance. Is it a measure of growing confidence? Is it foolish? Open it up a little? We shall see. I think it might get one or two more square pegs and square holes, yeah. and certainly in the case of Darren Curry. Andrew would want to be up top, but only if you're going to get a uh, sniff of some possession. Okay. Uh, Kevin Backwell has taken a leaf out of Sammy Herpia's book. He's told his uh, makeshift centre backs to defend on the deep side. I don't think they have any option to do that tonight. I would have been amazed if they'd have done anything other than that. That would have just been asking for trouble. It might be quite a stretched game, really. With plenty of uh, space in midfield. I don't think we're going to mind the ball here, possession here. Especially if Liverpool are going to do that with it. John Carver is on the uh, coaching staff, who's uh, just to add to the problems, been uh, sick the last three or four days. He only travelled up today, so that he didn't um, pass on any germs to the players. So, as Jeff Shrees pointed out earlier, he did have the luxury of a, an away day night in the hotel prior to a big fixture. Something they've uh, not had uh, since they've been in administration. And they're paying it back. Half an hour gone here. And despite being uh, overwhelming underdogs, it's still Liverpool nil, Luton Town nil. You just keep waiting, though. They have done well. It's dangerous if Liverpool keep waiting. Well, that's what I'm saying, but you just keep waiting in Liverpool. You know, with the Torreses and the Babbles and the Gerrards and the Pennants and Crouches, Alonso. Just when is it going to click a move into gear? Maybe now. Gerard to Torres. And below it, playing in the FA Cup for the first time. Gerard. Now below it. Gerard down. Torres can turn. Try and accelerate. Seen out of harm's way by Curry. He's lost his footing a little. Incredibly difficult surface. Talked about the rain that's falling. He's also playing in the FA Cup for the first time as well, having he really? not been involved <laughs> at Luton. I just thought it was refreshing. Talk about not being involved. I, I really was so pleased today to dig up the newspapers and, and read about Cristiano Ronaldo. Rest? <laughs> you must be joking. Yeah. I don't want to rest. I want to play football every game I can, score goals, create goals, enjoy myself. Uh, really refreshing little insight that was. I think there are a lot of players like that, and it's just the physiologists who take over yeah. and tell the managers that they should be rested. And of course, there is uh, science to it. And Crouch, a little over elaborate, maybe. Yeah, looking for Pennant, I think, just for that little flick. But they get plenty of white shots around that middle of that goal. You watch how many eventually get there. Good half a dozen or so are getting themselves in there, looking for that little flick. A nice idea, he might have set it actually to the edge of the box. Peter Crouch, Gabby Alonso to drop it into space. But Torres is looking to use, but good all. He stayed with him, that was a good little test for him. Pennant, Babel, Crouch tries to get hold of it. Gerard, good block again. That's what they've done well, and I said they need a bit of luck. They need those shots to strike them when they're going to squeeze the play like that. Nice offering himself for a shortish corner out of your picture, but surely the percentage for Liverpool is to put it in towards the big players, and maybe not quite like that.
Gabby Alonso. Pennant. Novelara with more and more adventure. Brill's got enough mobility to stop that going behind for a corner. Well, after 12 minutes, Liverpool have had five attempts, Martin. They've had risen that one in target. That's risen to nine in the last 20. But I thought maybe a bit more. A couple on target, but I wouldn't exactly have said they were attempts that worked Dean Brill too hard. Gerard. for Pennant, he's had to really scurry back to keep it in. That's applause for his efforts. And he's done fantastically well there. Oh no. <laughs> oh no. Oh no. <laughs> Just done to our beloved what Gerard's <laughs> done to him. Uh, that doesn't help. It doesn't help the fans. Liverpool fans now have sat here for 35 minutes. A lot of them getting wet. Seen a hugely strong Liverpool side that Benitez has picked tonight. Struggling to get the breakthrough. Babel has come closest. Hutchison got in the way. Gerard resisted the temptation to look for Pennant again with a cross field ball. Herpia. Babel, one on one with Keane. And Keith Keane. He's given it a handball. I think Keane had a chunk of his shot. I think that's why Alonso's come over to ask Peter Walton why. And I think he's he's judging at the first offence as the handball as he flicks that up. Does he? Yeah, he just brushes it round. You see that? And you see Keane has a chunk of his shot. He's got to give one decision. He's given it and look, there's been a favour. at that time Gerard winding up Perfect. it was anticipated by Goodall and I thought Stevie just waited just about a yard or two too long there he allowed somebody to come in to press him Andrew David Bell held up by uh, Risa nicely done by Keane Robinson Spring, Robinson. Oh, that must have been close. That must have been close. He was coming back from the offside. I just wonder if he, he got there. This is turned in. You see, he's trying to get himself back onside. It's close. And they're just about right. Herpia. Now Risa. Crouch, bubble! Couldn't keep it down. My first reaction was crouch, touch and hit. But he seemed to think that maybe he didn't have enough time. That would have been my first thought. He's got enough time around him, control and hit. And just thought Babel was in a better position, I guess. Peter Crouch is another of the side issues here, really. Well, he gets uh, a game in the Premier League, and uh, we'll see whether he's in uh, Capello's plans, of course, but he was certainly very much in Steve McLaren's uh, team. Talbot and a deep ball here and Liverpool could be in trouble it's not quite deep enough and uh, Carragher that magnetic touch the ability to smell out the danger well his immediate reactions front post that's what they do it's a pity because Dean Talbot played two or three great crosses in in the first tie one that led to the equaliser the own goal and he had a chance there Robinson from Andrew that's a pity just got a little bit too narrow he got 
in before the ball was delivered. It's good in the air, Calvin Andrew. Yeah, and against Abelow, eh? Yeah, that's what I mean. He just got a little grab, just too anxious to get in. Giving himself a bit of distance to attack that. Inflicted on, there were three Luton players committed for that one ball. One of them was Hutchison, who would have been way out of uh, position if it had worked out for Liverpool. He's back now. Andrew, what to Kevin Backwell has got, Andy, even with the, the changes that he's had to make, he's got players who are comfortable on the ball. And uh, people like Robinson, Spring have been around a while. Yeah, they have. Curry. Not meant to panic unnecessarily. Maybe feeling it's the last chance to say that they've played at Anfield. And they're playing their hearts out. Keith Keane of the uh, younger brigade, Luton, have been a club that's produced a constant supply of uh, talent through their own ranks. Bell, who was uh, acquired from Rushton and Diamonds. Well, what they've done quite well, and I don't want to put the kiss of death on the defending, they've actually defended second balls quite well. I mean, that's been into Crouch or anyone, they've tried to set it for another player, they've actually got good blocks in on many occasions in this first half. Believe you me, Andy, 40 minutes without conceding, I've been with the, the squad today, they've been absolutely thrilled. I, if they I can make that. it 45 minutes. Well, I said they work on periods of play. We're very, very close to achieving what they would regard as the just about the perfect start to go in here at 0 0. Might have been handballed by Andrew, Peter Walton letting the game go on and uh, didn't really suit Liverpool. Andrew. Curry. Now Jackson. Pennant. Fired to Babel by Gerard. Very good tackle again. No wonder Kevin Blackwell kept Keith Keane yep. up against Babel. Yeah, he was really impressive against Babel. Never sure with Babel, you never know what kind of mood you got. You're going to get Ryan Babel in. Arbelow. Here's Pennant. Back to Carragher. Advanced. Reset also. Just getting behind the ball. Hold the shape. Close down when they can. Carragher. Gerard. Pennant. Yeah, full marks again to Luton. Defended really well. well. It has been at times like attack against defence, but maybe not as much as we expected, to be fair to Luton, particularly after the stickiness of the first ten minutes. And they've tried to get out and keep um, Liverpool occupied as far forward as they can without overcommitting. No, I think that's fair, but I, I just thought that I'd expect Dean Brill to have made more saves than he's had to first half. I think that's a measure of how difficult Liverpool have found it to break them down and how, how well, in situations like this, when Liverpool have comfortable control of the ball, that Luton have defended. Babel, Torres, staying on his feet. Like that. Yeah. Again, and you just think the little gap opens for Torres, and now, closed. Gerard. Ran off Robinson. This car, I just wonder, Andy, what the reaction of the Liverpool fans is going to be if the half time whistle goes at nil nil. I would say the word that would describe it, I think, would be mixed. Oh, 
Alonso. Clement deciding to stray from the right-hand side. Clever flick by Gerrard. Space for Babel. Chance for Liverpool here. Runs off Spring, though. Another corner conceded. I have to say that's poor from Ryan Babel. Brilliant flick from his skipper to give him plenty time and plenty space to provide the people waiting with a cross and maybe Peter Crouch is just having a few words to that effect. He's uh, almost caught out by the corner. Apparently came his way. Gerrard, well, that might have beaten Brill. He was diving across, but Don Hutchison again. <laughs> How good has he been? First half. He can play for another ten years here. Uh, now, these are two big headers, because Crouch is coming in at the back of them there. And that one, well, Dean Brill might have gotten it, but in tonight's conditions, you're just never sure. And he now applauds Keith Keane, who defended without playing the ball then, just let it run, and a goal kick. He's not going to take it, is he? I'm looking at Don Hutchison, Martin, he's, going to, he's telling all his players, one. Oh, there you go, one minute. One minute. Tuck in, he said to Curry. Tuck in, one minute. That's what experience is all about. He knows. One minute away. Robinson beaten by Torres. Jackson gets it forward. Up here again. Gerrard, last attack for Liverpool in this first half. And it could be the breakthrough. It's Ryan Babel, it is. They didn't get through that last-minute Luton Town. But it's been a long wait for Liverpool, a strong side against a depleted opponent. Well, he was trying to get people in, he was trying to tuck Curry around from the left, he was trying to tuck Bell in from the right to make things nice and narrow. But they got a little too adventurous. Look how high up the pitch the two wide players are. And look at the space now, they've got 3v2 going at the back there. That should not be happening in the last minute. Hodges is trying to go round the players and tell them that. It's a fine finish across, bro. It really is from Ryan Babel. But what a hammer blow that is. Well, Babel, who right at the start of the half hit the post, has hit the back of the net, and it's a happier reaction for Liverpool as the half-time whistle goes. A dose of reality when we were thinking of romance in the shape of Luton Town, and Don Hutchison's contribution, a worthy one, in a makeshift position. It's Liverpool 1, Luton 0 at half-time. That's a terrific effort from Luton Town. It's changed the mood. Liverpool goal. Mike Newell and Gary McAllister with us tonight. Uh, their thoughts on a well, somewhat fortuitous lead for Liverpool, it would have to be said at half time. His team have done well, Kevin Blackwell. But Liverpool are in front at last, just. Two big games in the Championship. First, it's the Sheffield Derby. Then, Watford face Charlton. King. With Skybet, Saturday from 12.30, Sky Sports 1 and HD. Catch any footy the weekend? Catch it? Catch it? He saw every goal from every league, from every country, at least twice. Paid a retainer by three pub quiz teams. Could tell you the only British league club with a J in its name, and we've been there on holiday, reads every newspaper. Fact, they soaked up that much info, his nickname's a magic sponge. Highlights, you know. You carry around all that sporting knowledge. You interested in using it? Sign up now for your bonus at partybets.com. If you phone two insurance companies, you can compare two prices. If you fill in one form at comparethemarket.com, you can compare hundreds. In seconds. The choice is yours.
For cheaper car insurance, compare the market.com. Our primal instinct is to protect. ADT monitored alarms are linked to a protective network, so our security experts will alert you and the police fast. ADT. Be protected. Get connected. to choose from. You don't have to be a pilot to fly in the RAF. Contact us now. To help you remember egg cards not percent offers, we've hired Raul. Yes. Transfer your existing balances from other cards and loans and Eggcard will give you an amazing 0% on those balances for up to 15 months. Plus 0% on purchases for up to 3 months on everything you buy. Q Raul. Yes, that's it. Amuse them with your splashy tricks. Splishy, splashy. You know where you are with egg. For a quick online decision, apply now at egg.com. Love film. Yeah, that's right! Want an easy way to rent DVDs? Yes. Want to choose from over 65,000 titles? What? From just three ninety nine a month. It's nice! What about late fees? <laughs> OK, no late fees ever. <laughs> Why didn't you say so? We send... You watch. It's that simple. No way! Even the postage is free. Top batch. For your two-week free trial, go to lovefilm.com. Wouldn't it be nice if you could make last night's dream today's reality? With a Lloyd's TSB loan, you could do exactly that. Instantly. Not only do we have great rates, 6.4% APR typical for Premier account customers, but we can also make sure the money is in your account the very same day you apply. To find out about these great value loans, visit us in Branch. Lloyd's TSB. For the journey. One, two, three, seven, seven. The road to the Super Bowl is down to the final four and a chance to play for the biggest prize. The conference championships this Sunday from 8 p.m. Sky Sports 2 and HD2. Uh, later tonight, Barcelona meets Sevilla from 10 on Sky Sports 1. Tomorrow, it's Real Madrid against Mallorca at 8 on Sky Sports 2. And tomorrow, from the Scottish Cup, Clyde against Dundee United. That starts at 7.30 on Sky Sports 1. Later scores in the FA Cup tonight. Well, we know here at Anfield that Liverpool are now leading by a goal to nil. Elsewhere, Berry lead against Norwich 1 0. Ben Futcher, the scorer there, has a famous name associated with Luton, and that is the son, Ben, of Paul. Of course, it's one of the twins, Ron being the other. A mill will lead against Walsall by two goals to nil. That will please Richard Shaw, who's hoping to go to Coventry in the next round. Tottenham one up at Reading, Robbie Keane, the scorer there, and West Brom lead against Charlton by a goal to nil. Liverpool lead here, but only just. It's uh, hard to describe it as a heartbreaker uh, on half time, Mike, but it's not far off, is it? It's amazing how, how often that happens as well, Richard. You know, they defended, particularly for the first 10 minutes, as though it was the last 10 minutes hanging on, all hands to the pump, and maybe weathered the st storm a little bit. You know, Don Hutchinson's been playing out of his skin. But it, w it wasn't a surprise that the the goal when it came was actually on the break. Uh, Andy, Andy mentioned in commentary that they, they were struggling for room, Liverpool, and, it, and it's always going to be difficult when you're playing against eight or nine defenders in front of you. But it, the further Luton get up the pitch, the more room Liverpool will get. And um, you just you, you just would have hoped that they could have held on to half-time. As you, as you get closer to half-time, you know, the, the normal thing would be to, to actually sink back and get yeah. a bit deeper, but they just get yeah. too high. and. And, yeah. and the, sort of, it's just the first time Babel's been found himself on the right hand side and he's on his on his favoured foot. It's a, it's a Is that really good finish. In experience, a little bit of that, that, yeah. You know, they, you know, they have grown in confidence. You know, they, they, you know, they, mm. they went from four five one into a sort of more four four two, and as the halves went on, they have grown in confidence. 
but just get caught too too high up there. It's always, always the going to be impossible to hang on for 90 minutes or defend for 90 mm -hmm. minutes. Um, at some stage, Calvin is going to have to play up there with Drew. And it, you don't forget that they're not only um, without players; they're playing. They've got players playing out of position, and it's uh, it's. It's so going to be very it, it difficult. Develops backs to the wall. Andy talked about them needing a first slice of luck. Well, they've had that, haven't they? There's an example of that. They have, yeah. Yeah, but yeah. there's also been good defending. There's, yeah. been a, there's been a lot of good blocks. You know, people have been throwing their bodies in front of shots and stuff. So, which you would expect. And I and don't think Liverpool are in the the best of form at the moment. I mean, that that goes without saying. And uh, if they had been, or if they play anything like they're capable individually, then uh, you would expect them to get a lot more. But that opportunity, there has been a few occasions in the, in the, in the, certainly in the, in the first half there where, where Peter Crouch, I felt, you know, if he'd been a wee bit more selfish and, and, and looked mm -hmm. to turn towards goal, you know, and try to get a pop himself, he's looked to try and set, you know, a midfielder up and roll it back to one of his colleagues. You know, it's times like that where you've just got to be a, be a striker, be a goal scorer. Will the floodgates open now? Well, you'd, you'd think so now, you know, going towards the cop, you know, they, they tend to suck a few in. Um, but, but what Luton have do, got to do, they've got to just stay focused and, and be disciplined. You know, they're, they're going to be under the cosh. You know, but they, I thought stay they did in really it for well as long that. as they possibly can. Mm. That, that, that's all they can do. But they, Liverpool will create chances. I don't think Luton have had a chance yet of any any notes. Uh, they've had a couple of balls go fly across the the six yard box, but not one that you would say that's a chance. So it's going to be hard, it's going to be very hard, but just stay in it for as long as you can, you never know. Don't forget we'll see highlights of tonight's football later. Uh, West Brom have just gone turp incidentally against Charlton. Here at Anfield, Liverpool lead by a goal to nil against a gallant Luton. Ross Kemp in Afghanistan. Sit down, sit down. Oh, in your head now. James, can you record this? A brand new series starts Monday at 9, exclusively on Sky One. Tiguan, the compact 4x4 from Volkswagen. Our lowest ever pay monthly rate. With unlimited texts. No long contract. Just 30 days notice. Keep your handset. Keep your number. Keep it simple. Simplicity. Only from O2. Welcome to Planet U. Your intestines, to be precise. Here are some of the 100 trillion bacteria that call this 24-foot ecosystem home. These friendly Lactobacillus casei Sharota are found in Yagolt and have been proven by our scientists to help the beneficial bacteria multiply and thrive. A healthy gut makes for stronger natural defences. The adult taking care of Planet U. Looking for a new way to save money on your car insurance? Visit gocompare.com. Just tell them everything your policy has to have. They'll compare the best prices from loads of insurance companies and show you which quotes come with everything you've asked for using their special five-star rating. So visit gocompare.com. Why go compare anywhere else? Hey, I've just got us Tiskelly's best ever broadband offer. We get up to eight meg super fast broadband, a free wireless router, and weekend calls to UK and top international destinations, all for just £6.49 a month. <laughs> Must tell Bob next door. £6.49? That's amazing. For super fast broadband from just £6.49, call Tiskelly now on 0800 107 9000.
because we've been voted the best individual pension provider by independent financial advisors, it's no wonder we're the most trusted choice for pensions. Have a chat with your financial advisor or come in and see us at any branch of Lloyd's TSB. Scottish Widows. Preparation is everything. This year, it's time to do something different with Slendertone System. Take control and get real results. Use clinically proven technology for sleek, defined and healthy muscles in just eight weeks. Be who you want to be. See the difference at Slendertone.com. It's not that easy being green. Climate change is real. Having to spend each day the color of green. Our problems are man-made. Therefore, they can be solved by man. International rescue, come in. Please. By 2020, EDF Energy aimed to reduce the carbon intensity of CO2 emissions from their electricity production by 60%. Oh, that's the idea. Making good use of bad rubbish. It's beautiful. And I think it's what I want to be. EDF Energy. If we save today, we can save tomorrow. Follow Rocky every step of the way, including the premiere of Rocky Balboa. All six Rocky films, next week, exclusive to Sky Movies. So what we've got coming up this weekend, Saturday looks good. We've got the Steel City Derby, Wednesday against United at half past 12 on one. It's followed by Watford and Charlton at quarter past five. Again on one, both those matches available in high definition on channel 408. And Super Sunday uh, finds us uh, at Eastlands. Uh, first up, it's Wigan against Everton from one, followed by Manchester City and West Ham from half past three. This evening, it's FA Cup football. Liverpool in the lead in their third round replay against Luton. Ryan Babbel right on half time. There was barely time to kick off again. That's the goal that separates the two teams. Uh, Berry have gone to up tonight. Andy Bishop, remember all uh, highlights of tonight's football coming up after 10 o'clock when we've seen this one completed here. Norwich are trailing. I should imagine that's quite a pitch they're playing on as well. There was some doubt about uh, whether that match would go ahead at Gig, <laughs> Gig yeah, Lane. Well, if, if it rains anywhere, it rains at Berry and, and you would hope that they can, if they held on to the 1-0 lead, they, you just hope that they can uh, get the game through. Um, what would Kevin Blackwell have decided is best policy for this second 45 minutes, do you think? Well, I don't know what, what Kevin Blackwell will be thinking, but, but you know, they've got five or 6,000 fans behind that goal, mm. and they, they'd love to see a goal going towards them. Uh, damage limitation is no good, it's the FA Cup, and it's not going to get you anywhere, so, as I said... Let's, sorry, as... I've asked you the question about him, let's find out what he's thinking. Here he is with Jeff Shreves. Kevin, what do you do now? Uh, we've just got to stay strong and solid, make sure we don't cave in, that's for sure, and then see if we can nick something uh, on a set play or a break. Um, but the lads have been fantastic and give me everything, and uh, they've just got to continue to do so. Did the timing of the goal make it worse? It doesn't make it easy, any. Um, just before half times, I've had time to score, there's no doubt about it, but we're up for it, don't worry about that. OK, good luck, Kevin. Cheers. 1 0 to Liverpool, the team from the South Midlands, where that is, have done well. Andy Gray and Martin Tyler. Yes, that debate's still going on up here on the gantry, yeah. by the way. <laughs> <Cheerators>. <laughs> <laughs> uh, it's Liverpool leading by a goal to nil. <laughs> to wait a long time for it. Ryan Babel, most of his goals since joining Liverpool have come uh, when he's been a substitute. It's only his second as a starter, but it's uh, an important one. And they're just uh, examining... Dean Brill's ability to move his feet. Javi Alonso, of course, famously scored from inside his own half at Kenilworth Road a couple of years uh, ago in the third round. And uh, from knocking out Luton at this stage, of course, Liverpool went on to win the FA Cup. The last piece of silverware. Well, we wondered what Kevin Blackwell might do, which and the guys were debating it. We heard it straight from the horse's mouth, so to speak. I thought, the same, I thought the same as the Kim would do. I don't think there's any point in them just opening up and throwing everything at Liverpool and, and opening the game up in any way at all because that will just play into Liverpool's hands, in my opinion, with better players. So I think it would be much the same as maybe a little bit more from the two front guys if they can get the ball up to them. 
but certainly it would be a case of try not to give another goal away, stay at 1-0 as long as possible. And as Kevin Blackwell says, then try and nick one uh, from a free kick, the corner, a break. So the pattern pretty much set. Crouch. Heavily diverted it to Fernando Torres. Pennant. Hutchinson's header away. Told about him to come deep to get it and then block as Risa tried to score at the right end in this replay. Are we still waiting on him scoring this season? We are, That's yeah. amazing, isn't it? Yeah. Somebody who clubs a football the way he does. Mm. Hasn't got a goal yet. Last April in uh, Eindhoven against PSV in the Champions League. Pennant. Tight for Crouch. Javi Alonso, Gerard. Pennant. Done very well to get the cross in. And Torres challenging for a good defending by Keane. I think that's brilliant defending, you know, Torres would have fancied that. And Keane would have thought, uh oh, oh, I know he's coming because he sees him just go behind him, he sees he's at the back post, Keane, he's pointing at Babel, he's a bit worried about him. And did well. Classic example what you do, or not. There's a couple of defenders you know would be too worried about Babel and forget about Torres, but he went and dealt with Torres, it was an immediate problem. Actually, uh, just in front of uh, Keith Keane, Don Hutchison got a bit of a bang as well, but good thinking again from him. He said, I know I don't want the trainer coming on, because if he gets treatment, of course, he has to go off, for a, even if it's only for a moment. Not to make Luton any more vulnerable than he uh, might already be. Spring. Turns Gerrard. Tries to get Robinson through. Carragher. Stern, strong, Robinson's felt it, and uh, Luton might feel it in terms of uh, conceding again, but uh, Babel maybe didn't quite look when he played it across. No, they'd all gone beyond it. George Batting, of course, is uh, a Dutchman like mm -hmm. Babel, was quoted over the weekend and saying that he believes that Babel could become the next Thierry Henry. Well, I did a couple of pieces a couple of weeks ago about people to look for next season, and he was one that I picked out because I really do think that he's got everything. And he said this first year as a, as a getting to know you sort of thing in the Premier League. He's only a young boy still. And I just think well, the way they've introduced him with a pro, I just think they might just unleash him next year. I agree with you. I don't know if he can become that good, but mm. I certainly think he can. But of course, Henri started as a wide yeah. player. And Babel would have had glimpses of him playing yeah. through the middle. But he certainly he took his chance. I mean, we, we were talking about the timing of it, but the timing actually of striking the ball. Yeah, he swept it across Brill. And Liverpool are happier considerably for that uh, piece of uh, excellent technique. Yeah, I'm sure he would have loved his team to have set off in the first half and swept Luton aside and, and been a couple, two or three goals up, and giving the Liverpool fans a real feast. It hasn't happened. Luton have made them work very hard and you know, I've played in cup ties like this. And you just want to get them over where you want to get them done and dusted and get them out of the way. And that's the way Liverpool players would feel. But I guess because the pressure their manager's under a little, that they would like to have done it with a little bit more style than they are at the moment. Arbeloa. Putting the ball to Babel seems a, a decent policy. That wasn't quite struck uh, hard enough for uh, a pass to reach his talented feet. Made it his though, but uh, good covering behind by uh, Robinson. Robinson was caught in the head of the ball. Here goes Risa. You mentioned him not scoring, Andy, this season. Hasn't scored an Anfield goal since October 2006. <laughs> and uh, again, given the uh, 
and the potential. Yeah. I mean, I was looking at maybe and started as many games as I thought, but this is his 21st start of the season. Also had five subs appearances. And also played uh, on the left of midfield a few times mm. as well. Gets him nearer the goal. Risa going in powerfully. Bell. Not by Herpiet. Alonso. With a commitment there by Jackson. Crouch gets it back. Gerard goes in and puts it in. 2 0. And the fear that Kevin Blackwell had that. His side wouldn't be able to cope aerially. Is uh, rather shown to be an accurate one by an accurate header back by Crouch and a place one by Steven Gerrard. Well, when Jackson misses this pass through here, when he misses this tackle here, they've got a problem looking. Again, you look at that, the 4v4 coming into the penalty area. I actually thought he overhit this. And in the end, Peter Crouch makes something of it. They just get attracted to the ball a little. A little bit of ball watching that goes over their heads here. Three players all get attracted to Crouch. No one really got an eye on Steven Gerrard arriving, as usual, from deep. This is a pretty good header. Got a director, put some power into it. Be pleased with that, the Liverpool skipper. Now, opportunity for Liverpool to turn on the style. Oh! <laughs> and for Luton, maybe. To really crack and keen oh, and brill. Crouch has gone flying against the post. I've no idea why Keen tried to play it that way because he could see Crouch. All he needed was turn round the other way and go out the other side. I actually, encouraged Crouch to go for it, and yeah. that's why this has happened. I mean, if you watch us, it's just lack of communication, doesn't he? But he now knows Crouch is coming. Yeah, Nobody there. He has a look, and yet he plays that. Yeah, Crouch. Yeah, oh. Right on the shin. Painful. Keith Keane uh, scored an own goal against Swansea on Saturday. Oh, you just wonder if it had just jarred the knee, twisted the knee in, a, in an awkward way. It looked like it hit him what, down near, near enough his ankle. So, uh, It's rather typical of Crouch's season. Yeah. Stop, start and... Been uh, talk again about uh, whether in the January transfer window that Liverpool might agree to uh, sell him. Apparently, Rafa Benitez isn't going to get huge sums of money to uh, no. invest on the, uh, the players that he wants, or maybe uh, completing the loan that Mascherano's uh, on at the moment. But happily for Peter Crouch, it doesn't look quite as serious as first thought. Thirteenth goal this season. That's 30 for Torres and Gerrard. Have got between them. <laughs> He'd have been in a pretty pickle, Rafa Benitez, without them. without those two. They won't be rotated very much, I don't think. You not think so now? <laughs> you not think he might still leave Torres out occasionally? Well, I suppose if games become irrelevant in the Premier League, yeah. but, I mean, how can they be irrelevant? Because he's well, got to play for fourth place. Correct. Can't it's guarantee tight, of no. winning the uh, Champions League. I agree. League. I mean, I agree. At 23, the best education for Fernando Torres is out there playing football and learning more and more about this type of football as quickly as he can. You well, do let's that hope more. he comes from the uh, Cristiano Ronaldo school yeah. that you mentioned earlier. Yeah. I think he uh, gets that message to the manager. The goal either side of half-time It's really uh, taken what edge there was out of the contest. And, of course, there was at 0-0. Still uh, looked uh, extremely tall order for Luton, but the longer they preserve parity, the more... Possible FA Cup miracle. I think, I think this is a generous free kick. I think David Bell goes to face up Risa, who just stumbles over the ball. Look, I mean, how is that a free kick? Lost the ball, lost control. <laughs> Crashed into Bell. And you can bet that Steven Gerrard will fizz this in with a bit of pace. I'm surprised if he doesn't. And get people going in. It was uh, really at the cop end that they ripped into Besiktas, of yeah. course, when they got the eight here earlier in the season. Gerard takes. It's Curry. Go, go. 
Carragher. Herpier. Torres able to take it down. It's only a corner. Not quite been his night as yet. Not yet. Hasn't really had a chance, I don't think, that you would say, yeah, should have done better. And this is another one of those that just doesn't come down for him. Look how high the ball bounces and it just wouldn't sit down. Up here towards the near post. Round the back came Carragher. Still in play. Fired across by Gerrard. That's the side netting, but Herpia didn't have the last touch. Yeah, not sure whether it's Calvin Andrew, but two runs from Herpia near post, got a touch on both. One went far post, one went near. Either could have gone in. Near post, Herpia again. And uh, it's ended up in the back of the net. Herpia is claiming it. Yeah, you get that. Crouch was uh, right on the line to make absolutely sure. Well, Crouch is desperate for it. He hit the post to come out, man. Trust me on that one. But they've been, you know, can't say they haven't been warned here. He's fizzed in a couple of corners there. Sammy Hoopy has made that run. He makes it again. Just gets away from Andrew and it just comes off. A little deflection. He gets a touch on it. But they can't get that out. Oh, it's, uh, yeah, you've got to give that to Hoopy. There's no doubt about that. You don't protect your post, so that's what happens. It was uh, Matthew Spring, it sort of flicked off on the way in. Yeah. But it's 3-0 Liverpool, and uh, still uh, more than half an hour to go. See, this is the kind of game where I would, I would talk about, you know, when players, if you want people to arrest someone. It's, this is what I mean when you say, you go and win your game. And now, with over half an hour to go, if he wants to take off Benitez Torres, the game at 3 0, if he wants to take off Gerard at the game at 3 0, he can do that and give him a rest. Yeah, now, I think he that. Might well, be thinking about that. Yeah, but that's, I think that's the role. And I think players appreciate that more. They much prefer playing than being asked to come on, say, for the last half hour when your team's been playing poorly for an hour. And Torres wants an FA Cup goal before he goes. to provide uh, another for Gerard is uh, Arbeloa. Javi Alonso. Gerard. Risa taking defenders away. Gerard oh, hit Crouch. <laughs> Ouch. Yeah. Well, we just better be careful. Now this might turn an arrow. Andrew. Spring. Well, we know there's a bigger picture. Last few hours. It may not involve Kevin Blackwell, but uh, he can see that bigger picture. Oh, it's Babble. It's going to be a bigger score, surely. And Brilliant uh, defence. Wasn't picked out by Risa. Don Hutchison will do his darndest to stem the flow, which is coming at Luton with more and more intensity now with each passing minute. I feel a bit for Hutchison, Don. He, he recognised the danger. We saw him that one minute indicating to his team to get back be tight. That last minute of the first half has defined the game, has influenced the game. A twitchy Liverpool coming out at 0-0, start the second half, might have been totally different. Good all. Robinson, held up by Torbett. Good footwork by Curry. Now Bell. And we have um, one extra on the pitch. Which really, uh, who really shouldn't get any applause. And those who know about football protocol aren't amused. Well, look at that for the tips. Plenty of them. Just the seven. On target. And uh, Rafa Benitez uh, went on to win the FA Cup in 2006 on the way. And I can't remember, were you there? 
They bombarded Birmingham City. 7 0 yes, St Andrews. I was. Ooh. And if Luton keep playing like this, Torres given a, another ball that uh, shouldn't have come nowhere near him. Is it Keane again? Well, Keane or Bell? Oh, Bell, I think Bell, it was. It's Bell, his yeah. hand up yeah. on the ball now. They're looking to make a better job with this pass. And he does. To Calvin Andrew. Stopped by her, Piet. A lovely crisp ball by Carragher. Gerrard still with a bit between his teeth. It's a beautiful surface if you want to hit a ball like that. Babel. That's only straight. So Robinson. Spring. Two of it, uh, off the ball. It's just uh, bowled over by uh, Carragher. Robinson on from Jackson. Curry, uh, got it to Robinson. A bit of possession here for Luton. Talbot, Spring, who can hit them and uh, has scored eight times this season. Well, he might have just slid that to Calvin Andrew, you know. Because Arbelo had get caught high up the pitch here. There was no real cover to the right of Jamie Carragher. And watch as that. You see Pennant just leaves him. But as that ball drops, if he could have just slid it to his left a little, Calvin Andrews got through and goal. Well, the Luton uh, backing is uh, consistent. And uh, they know the players need all the help that they can give them in these circumstances. I don't think any uh, assistance is going to come from uh, the Liverpool lowering their sights. Torres, good all, good vision. And they are going to make uh, some changes. And Lucas getting ready. Well, Count could do with a goal, couldn't he? Absolutely. Gerrard. Risa, Torres, Gerrard places it in the same corner for his second and Liverpool's fourth. Well, it's a change now, the manager says, come on Stevie, thanks mate, done your job, come and have a sit down mate, put Lucas on now. And he'll be quite happily go off now, Liverpool scammer. Well, there's been no Liverpool player scored a hat-trick in the FA Cup since Stan Collymore, which is... Uh, 12 years ago, also in the third round against Rochdale. Got a finish. Talk about quality, have a look. This is what we mean. Pixie spot, then just thrash Asik against a white shirt that was coming his way. There's a little yard of a gap there. And he just slots it beautifully right into it. As we said, no switching off. We've had uh, some criticism here, not just for being held at Kenilworth Road, but the... Uh, Recent run of draws, haven't won a game since Boxing Day. But Dirk Count's coming on. That's Peter Crouch. Well, maybe that knocks some yeah. influence as well, Martin. Of course, he crashed into the post, didn't he, about five minutes ago? Yes, uh, he gave uh, a new meaning to the term uh, Crouch hit the post. <laughs> There's still 25 minutes to go. Well, you know, you and I arrived there, and we, we just got the impression when the Liverpool players arrived that, you know, there was a determination about them tonight to, not say put on a show, but really go at this game and, and win it very comfortably. In the end, it looks like that's going to happen. How comfortably? Well, the next 25 minutes will be will determine. But we always felt this might happen tonight if Liverpool turned it on. Hard going for the Hatters. But uh, when the draw was made, many people around Luton Town Football Club were wondering whether there would be life after playing Liverpool just once, let alone twice. 
And they've had the, uh, the financial boost from these two games, from the uh, television coverage as well. And of course, uh, they might play another team from Luton's league in the next round, Liverpool. Swansea City, who are managed by a Spaniard. <laughs> Rafa against Roberto Martinez. Yep. They're going pretty well, aren't they? Swansea. Top of the league. I thought you were going to say that's if Rafa's still here. But, no, I was uh, not no. going to say that. Not my job. No. I, mean, I no. would be amazed if he's gone. Well. Certainly about, uh, during this season. What might happen after that? We don't know. Of course, Swansea have to win yep. away to a team that come from the sixth tier of English football, having to Waterlooville. Um, wonderfully well. Play tomorrow night. The weather is kind down there on the south coast. Count. Pennant. Count. Good all. in this part of the world and uh, would have dreamt about playing in matches like this but not uh, in these circumstances really I'd love to give Carragher one wouldn't they and he scored four so a five out of 500 would have a certain <laughs> symmetry to it wouldn't it consistent <laughs> the 100 to one shot <laughs> at the moment it's 125 to one Stephen O'Leary in midfield. Substitution for the team. The 14, Steve Robinson, leaving the field. Worked Robinson, hard, Robinson, but uh, haven't they all? O'Leary's been at Luton since uh, a 13-year-old. He's 22 now, but uh, he's hardly featured for Kevin Blackwell this season. Can't say the same about Paul Furlong. <laughs> who uh, is the top scorer with 10 goals he nicked another one against Swansea even in defeat on Saturday so off comes a 21 year old to be replaced by a 39 year old well a 36 year old that's been at the back ain't done too bad for them no. Gerard, Marisa, Count. Well, it's a strange <laughs> effort. Yes. You know, from that angle to try and smash it on the outside of your right foot, strange one. Possible to get the power in it. For 45 minutes, but not into the 46 minutes. Luton held Liverpool. A stoppage time goal relaxed the uh, Premier League side and, uh, they've taken it on to their credit Liverpool in the second half and uh, they want more and uh, Gerard has got one Liverpool uh, hat trick in uh, the Champions League qualifier <laughs> risky for someone who's uh, as incapacitated as Brill is given away by Babel and here goes Talbot, and that's uh, very similar to what happened yeah. down at Kenilworth Road. Sammy Herpier into a wide position, and having been booked down at Luton, he's booked again here. Now, Sammy's been brilliant for Liverpool, there's absolutely no doubt about that. But at 34 now, and at a higher, you know, when he's up against better players than Drew Talbot, and he gets in situations like that, they do cause him a problem. No doubt about that. Two bookings, both of them. Yeah, against Luton. <laughs> and Luton have got a free kick. And it's Hutchison. From whose brow the ball is taken by Torn. Grateful for a bit of a action. French goalkeeper. That's a raking ball from Javi Alonso. Substitutions afoot. 
Torres uh, staying down, but not for long. Risa. Gerard. Time in this match might be running out. Hence the shot. Hence the goal. Hence the hat trick. Yeah, I don't think the goalkeeper sees this. He looks to be going the other way. And such a bend on it. The players in front of him might just mask Gerard as he strikes us. Uh, he makes up his mind really early. Goes across there and suddenly it's gone the other side. Well, it gets a little flick off the head of one of the defenders just there, I'm not sure. But there's enough bend on it from Gerard himself just to take it into that bottom corner. Fitting into his contribution tonight. Yeah, what a Liverpool skipper. Uh, way to say goodbye to this game. Oh, uh, they're having to wait, I think, for the protocol. Luton. Uh, uh, had to bring on Paul McVeigh and they're taking off there that number eight that goes up is for David Bell and Stevie, Stevie's on block now well, that is a palaver isn't it that board he knows he's coming on just go off and <laughs> uh, McVeigh's on and the Luton change. And Lucas, the young Brazilian, replaces uh, Steven Gerrard. But uh, when you're as good as Gerrard, you can write your own scripts, your own exit lines. And, uh, and there's Torres, he hasn't scored. But this is what I mean about... I just think that's how you rest players. You know, you might have taken him off 20 minutes ago, Torres. You want to give him a rest? Fabio Aurelio. I guess Babel will go up top, will he? Can't play it being Thierry Henry. Yeah. <laughs> They're not quite sure at the moment. Coming Fabio Aurelio. It won't uh, lessen Liverpool's intensity. Well, they're actually going five in midfield, so maybe there's a concern about a comeback. <laughs> Here's Babel. I think they just left Babel there. Here he is. And Kaut asking for handball. Javier Aurelio. Alonso. Pennant. Arbaloa. Pennant's only scored once. Arbaloa only once. One or two other than Carragher trying to improve their averages a bit. Double bill for you from the Marcus Premier League on Sunday. Wigan against Everton from one. So the North West Manchester against West Ham, the second helping. They meet in the FA Cup replay, of course, tomorrow. Talbot. Still with some get up and go for Luton. Well, it looks like job done for Liverpool. They'd have liked to have said that, job done, when we did the first tie. It's given them an extra game because they weren't at it, so to speak. Down at Kenilworth Road. Some famous names on that uh, Liverpool FA Cup hat-trick list. John Barnes, we were there at Crewe <laughs> in the early 1990s. I mentioned Stan Collymore. Steven Gerrard, third round replay, 2008, at the expense of Luton Town. He's not one to gloat, but they can't stop smirking at the moment, and uh, there's a second half quick fire hat trick from the skipper. Going back a bit further, John Walk. No, I'm not surprised Walk is in there. <laughs>
good all. Spring. Stopped by Javi Alonso. Well, he got uh, battered a little bit by uh, Matty Spring, but uh, nothing too much to get excited about when you're 5 0 up. I remember, they had a good helping of goals here. There are more to come. When this match finishes from uh, highlights from elsewhere on the FA Cup calendar this evening. Pennant. Rambalowa. Oh, Lucas. So, uh, slightly... Uh, well, I should say a rusty tackle by Stephen O'Leary. He's had very little first-team football this season. Xavi oh. Alonso, they go short uh, with the free kick, and Aurelio. Risa! <laughs> the bigger the build-up we give him, <laughs> the worse the shooting has become. Well, they get edgy, I tell you. He, he knows he hasn't scored. For a long time, and those chances there. The one that drops there, he's good enough to do better than that. We've seen it, and had he got a few goals this season, I'm sure he'd have made a better job of that. But you can just bet that when he gets one, keep an eye on him in the next game because they are like buses. Trying to avoid uh, getting anywhere near their record FA Cup defeat against the Crystal Palace back in 1929, 7-0. You just got the impression when you looked around as the Turk went off at half-time, Martin, that that goal really did flatten them. I don't think they ever got themselves back from that. Furlong. Of course, of uh, Chelsea and Queen's Park Rangers and others, and an FA Cup semi-final for Chelsea. Aurelio. Well, Gerard's hat trick is going to make the headlines, but Ryan Babel's goal was uh, a turning point in this game. I mean, I'm pretty sure that Liverpool would have. Uh gone on and won this game, but whether it would have been as comfortable as this had Babel not struck that goal right on the stroke of half-time, we'll never know, of course. Up here. And there's a, a great result for Berry. They've not had a, a wonderful season, but they've knocked Norwich City out tonight. Highlights of that to come. Well worth the hanging around for after the final whistle here at Anfield. the weak, so they do against the strong. Yeah. Rafa Benitez is going to be judged by over the next few months. 12 points behind in the uh, Premier League, behind both Arsenal and Manchester United, or I should say Manchester United and Arsenal mm -hmm. after the weekend, in that order, and uh, they've still got to go to the Emirates, they've still got to go to Old Trafford, they've still got to go to Stamford Bridge. Well, Chelsea by eight. Counts offside. Uh, a strong showing in the FA Cup won't uh, come amiss. Still in the Champions League, of course, and we all look forward to the resumption of that. I just think, Martin, that when that man, when Rafa took over, he would have known the brief around this club. And that would be, these supporters here, certainly, 
they want to see a better shot at winning the title. I'm not saying necessarily, I've always said, you can't say win it. But the Liverpool fans don't want their team out of it, or being talked out of it in January. And that's what people are doing. No, it's hard too often. By the way, we are looking at an exceptional couple of teams, and Chelsea not far behind. I mean, yes, we are. It, it's... What I'm saying is Rafa's been in here four years, spent £140 million. Pounds. Liverpool fans would like them to be closer to winning the league. The Luton angle, well, they're going to enjoy, well, enjoy the that journey, this. journey yeah. back to the Midlands, wouldn't they? The South Midlands. I was actually referring to uh, Milton Keynes as the South Midlands. R Richard, uh, unusually for him, uh, misquoted me. That's not unusual for him. <laughs> Here's uh, Javi Alonso. I'll go back to school for my geography <laughs> lessons after the final whistle here. Just out. Might have gone over that coat. Pennant. You feel a bit for Dirk Kout, who uh, no one could work harder for the cause. I just think sometimes he does. I know this is going to sound really stupid at times, but uh, I just think sometimes he works too hard. He sometimes takes himself into areas where you think, well, you're never going to score there. Mm -hmm. I just think I'd like to see him do a bit more of that. He's the type of signing that Rafa Benitez has been criticised for, isn't he? For not really producing uh, yeah. the goals that uh, maybe the fee suggested he could do. We talked to earlier about the dependence on Torres and Gerrard for goals. <laughs> and the rivalry now to be top scorer, Torres 17, Gerrard 15. <laughs> and Liverpool pick it up again. Those two uh, big hitters have gone off. Here's Carragher. <laughs> to popular acclaim. Pennant. Oh, below his ball. Would have been perfect if Crouch had still been on. Just bent out, I think. And I did notice that uh, his son, young James Carragher, had number nine on his back. Well, obviously his son's got far more sense than his father. <laughs> more appreciation of the better, finer part of the game. The goal scorers, see? That's what happens. In this era of squad numbers, that's not always the case, of course, now, is it? His number 12, Aurelio. 19 is Babel. Pennant. Just over five minutes to go. Kaut. And uh, Hutchison. Game to the end. He's got a ball kick. like Dean Brill will be going back to find out what uh, tomorrow brings whether they are to be Luton players mm. even by the end of the day but as we mentioned a few times it does look as though the administrator has seen uh, enough of uh, financial backing in what is now to be referred as as the preferred bid to keep the club going for the rest of the season even though Kevin Blackwell and his staff Seemingly will not be a part of that. There is going to be change, but there isn't going to be capitulation. And even at 5 0 down, there hasn't been capitulation here. No. Nope. Well, I'm sure Kevin said to them, you know, whatever happens, make sure right up until the end that you enjoy being on that surface. For some of them, that might only be their only time here at ground like this. So if it is, then enjoy it. Spring. Over to gave them so much uh, heartache, Liverpool. 
in the first game. Just hasn't been able to get to the ball in this uh, second game. And that's Paul McVeigh coming in. The flag was already up. The flag went up against Fulong of that, I'm pretty sure. And maybe it shouldn't. I'm not saying maybe it shouldn't because he wasn't offside. As he comes away from that, normally they wait till the ball arrives and you can see McVeigh not offside at the feet of the person receiving it. And flagged it a bit early there. Yeah, it's the offside rule. <laughs> Life would be yeah. very dull without yeah. it. Yeah. 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 <laughs> <laughs> Keen's throw, Furlong. That's Lucas's ball, acceleration from Babel. Count, hoping to be picked out. But, uh, it's Pennant, tries to place it goalwards. And Brill, bit of contact with Couch. Free kick to Luton. You know, you just feel that people like Kout, Crouch, Warren, and they must be and feel under pressure, you know. Well, there isn't a doubt about Torres, his qualities, his abilities, getting goals. Gerard chips in with his fair few. Babel's done as well this season, to be fair to him. But Liverpool are desperately looking for another one. Another second striker just to provide them with that regular supply of goals that you really are going to need when you're talking about winning the championship and winning major trophies. Curry. Aurelio, Babel. This is a sixth goal in uh, Liverpool. With two minutes plus added time to go, of course, they got their first very late in the first half. Again, the atmosphere in the stadium is being uh, generated at the Luton end. Yeah. Now, what's a 5 0 beating when you've been worrying about your club going out of business? Correct. They've uh, kept their heads up, Luton Town. I knew it was a, a really steep incline here for them. Aurelio. Alonso. Now Pennant. Missed a lot of football this season. Arbeloa in a great position for a cross. Aurelio uh, taken from his head. Risa, not so anxious to get into a shooting position initially. But they might play him in here. Lucas tried. And Risa, to be fair, applauded the effort. Been talk on Merseyside that maybe his time at the club is uh, coming to an end. Uh, the Norwegian. Well, there must have somebody decent lined up then. So I could say. 27. That's all. I think there'd be a plenty queuing up for John Arnorisa. Pennant. 90 minutes up. Count. Only two added minutes. Babel, Kaut, well saved by Brill. More frustration for Dirk Kaut. Yeah, just got away from him a little, you know. And, uh, Hutchison takes it away from Brill and away from Kaut. Voices nicely tuned to uh, cheer the players off the uh, 
midfield at the end. You might say predictable, but nothing is certain in the Anfield world at the moment. Talking about the, the development of Liverpool as well, aren't you? You just wonder with Liverpool, with Kuehl back, his fitness at the beginning of next season, if it's assured. Tennant, might it just be Ryan Babel that provides that extra spark beside Torres? Five nil to five hundred, I suppose, has a certain symmetry about it. And uh, Jamie Carragher will be. Uh, most of all, pleased about the nil. Oh, I should have kept it going left to Risa Aurelio. really that Don Hutchison breaks it up because he's been noble as Luton have been generally but Steven Gerrard's power commitment and goal scoring ability his hat-trick in this third round FA Cup replay after Ryan Babel had scored so late in the first half it really broke uh, Luton's hearts really if not their resolve the landmark night for Jamie Carragher it didn't end too happily for him at Kenilworth Road with that incident uh, during the warm down. Uh, the smiles here, not for Kevin Blackwell, although he inwardly will be proud of his players. Luton will be richer for the experience, helping to ensure there is a tomorrow for the Hatters, even if some of the players who have taken part and the management that have guided them here may be elsewhere very shortly. A fourth round home tie to come for Liverpool, and remember that two seasons ago, knocking out Luton was the start of a Liverpool run that led to the lifting of the FA Cup. 5 0. I'm not close to the ouch, but um, it's been a terrific performance by Luton across the two games. Later tonight, Barcelona meets Sevilla at 10 on Sky Sports 1. Tomorrow night, it's Real Madrid against Mallorca, 8 o'clock, Sky Sports 2. And tomorrow from the Scottish Cup, it's Clyde against Dundee United from half past seven on Sky Sports 1. Mike Newell and Gary McAllister are with us. We'll talk to them when we come back. We'll also speak to the man of the match. And I don't think there's any doubt at all about who that was. We've also got FA Cup highlights on the way. Sky Sports coverage of the European Golf Tour swings over to the Gulf. Oh, yes. World number one Tiger Woods features in the Dubai Desert Classic. And Retief Goosen returns to defend his Qatar Masters title. Golden touch from the Goose. But first, from Abu Dhabi, big names, including title holder Paul Casey, play for a total prize fund of $2 million. The Abu Dhabi Golf Championship in association with the Royal Bank of Scotland, Thursday, 7 a.m., Sky Sports 2. Well, I've got a savings account with you. Good. I took it out because of a really good rate, but I've noticed I'm no longer getting that rate. Well, you see, that particular rate is just to hike people in. Hike? Look, it's like fishing. We put a big, fat, juicy worm of a rate on our hook and watch the customers bite. <laughs> yeah. I caught well, it! I caught it! <laughs> well, I did bite and I got the big, fat, juicy worm rate. Yeah, but now we've caught you, we've taken you off the hook and thrown you in the keep net. Look, to be honest, I'm going to jump out of the keep net and go. Oh, stop carping on. I'm going to leave. Oh, uh, well... <laughs> At Nationwide, we don't offer short-term savings rates. We offer great rates that last. Nationwide, proud to be different. 
Oh, Grandmaster, finally we've found you. We've travelled to the farthest corners of the world to ask you to energise and invigorate our minds. Energy from me? That's why you have come all this way? Yes, Grandmaster. We would like you to show us the ways of meditation. Yeah, don't you have Red Bull where you come from? It gives you wings. Right next, please. 18th hole, championship on the line. Four feet separate a man from his dream, and here's the part. Ah, wasn't expecting the horn! Somewhere between the horse riding, the cycling in Rome, the onboard ice skating, rock climbing, and now the flow rider, it hits you. This is way more than a cruise. Call Royal Caribbean on 0845 165 1100 or visit your travel agent. More is knowing your home is more than just bricks and mortar. Which is why we now give you free home contents cover of up to £75,000 when you buy our building's insurance. Stay with us and unless you claim it's free for the life of your building's policy. So you can just relax and enjoy your home. More than we do more. Without that cigarette, you'll never know until you quit. Lose the smoke, keep the fire with Nicotine L Patch. Its sustained release technology delivers a constant stream of nicotine for 24 hours straight to help fight cravings all day long. Nicotine L Patch. Pam and Ron were going on a much needed break to Italy, but were worried about who could look after Pam's 80 year old mum, Annie. Fortunately, there was a rather friendly and understanding Booper care home nearby. So it was a whirl of sightseeing pasta and gondolas for them, and a spot of painting, her favorite cake, and a new hairdo for Mum. In fact, she had such a marvelous time, she thought about sending them a postcard. Booper, feel better. Our lowest ever pay monthly rate with unlimited texts, no long contract, just 30 days notice. Keep your handset, keep your number, keep it simple. Simplicity, only from O2. Five nil here tonight to Liverpool, which doesn't really tell the true story of this tie across the two matches, nor what's happened to Luton across the past ten days either. So beaten here, but they are the big winners because today came the news that there is a future for Luton Town. I'm pleased to say we played a part in that as well with the money from these television matches, which is great. Here's the man of the match with his mate and with Jeff Shreves. Well done, Jamie, Stevie. Was it just a matter of getting that out of the way tonight? An irritant, a banana skin to be avoided? Yeah, I suppose it was a banana skin, but, um, you know, I think we showed Luton a lot of respect by, you know, the side we put out. Um, they gave us a very difficult game in the, you know, the first time round, so it was important to get the job done and be professional tonight. In the first half, Jamie, were you feeling frustrated? Yeah, a little bit. I mean, uh, they've done well, credit to them. I mean, they've been superb over the two games, and as I said, we showed them a lot of, uh, a lot of respect, and as I said, you know, we went to Luton a couple of years ago and went on and won the cup from there. And it was a tough game that day as well, and hopefully this, you know, will be the same. But as I said, there's a long way to go. But you know, you know, full credit to Luton. Was it important what the score was tonight? Yeah, we did always like to score a few goals, but I mean, uh, I mean, cup football is just about winning. It doesn't really matter how you're playing. I said we took a bit of criticism for the for the first performance, which you know, rightly so. But at the end of the day, we're through now, so that that's all that matters in for cup football to uh, to get through. Regardless of the opposition, Stevie, how important, or indeed how important, is a hat trick? Well, it's not just about the hat trick. It's it's the win that's the most important thing, um, and to progress into the fourth round. Um, you know, before the game tonight, there's been you know a lot said in the media about the club, so it was important that you know the headlines tomorrow was about the football, and we got a good win. How were were the players of that? Well, of course, we're aware of it. Every time we pick up a paper or put the TV on, um, you know, we're seeing what's happening uh, off the field. So it's important that the players stay focused on the job on the pitch, and we, we start winning football matches. Was there any feeling of wanting to do particularly well for the manager? Uh, not particularly. It's not about the manager. It's about the team, uh, and it's about progressing into the fourth round. So, 
you know, we're happy with that. Um, you know, we need to keep winning now. So, so the headlines are about the football and not about uh, stuff off the pitch. Jamie, of course, it was a very special night for you. 500th appearance for the club. What was it like? Yeah, just very, you know, proud of the, you know, you see some of the other players who've been there and, you know, some great players. And as I said, just delighted and proud to, see, you know, see my name alongside them and hopefully, you know, get a few more games. How did it feel walking out alongside your son? And why has he got Torres's name on his back and not yours? Well, no, no kid in Liverpool wants, uh, wants to be a, a defender growing up. It was, he had a choice for me, Gerard or Torres, and he picked Torres. <laughs> when you started all those years ago, if somebody said to you, you'll make 500 appearances for this club, what would you have said? No, I mean, I'd never, never thought that. I think even, even, even now, I don't look too far ahead. I just take each season as it comes. And